Can we really survive World War Z? Imagine the heart-pounding terror of being chased not by the typical lumbering, groaning zombies, but by a relentless horde of sprinting undead. In a world where zombies can run, the once comforting notion of simply jogging away from a slow-moving threat becomes a distant memory. Picture yourself darting through narrow alleyways, desperately seeking refuge, only to glance over your shoulder and see a pack of ravenous zombies closing in at an alarming speed. The adrenaline rush would be incomparable, turning every escape attempt into a high-stakes sprint for survival. This newfound agility among zombies would not only raise the stakes, but also intensify the psychological impact on survivors. The constant threat of being overtaken by fast-moving undead would create a relentless atmosphere of fear and anxiety. Every decision made, every step taken would be infused with a heightened sense of urgency, as survivors would be forced to think and react at lightning speed to outmaneuver their swift and deadly pursuers. In this twisted new reality, the line between hunter and hunted would blur, amplifying the suspense and ensuring that the survival of the fittest takes on a whole new meaning. In a world where zombies can run, the rapid spread of infection would transform into a terrifying race against time. Think about it. A single running zombie unleashed in the bustling streets of New York City could traverse the length of Central Park in mere minutes, potentially infecting scores of unsuspecting bystanders along the way. The iconic Times Square, usually teeming with life and energy, could become ground zero for a rapidly expanding outbreak as the infected dash through crowds, leaving chaos and panic in their wake. Now let's take a moment to imagine the chaos that would ensue in a city like Los Angeles, with its sprawling highways and densely populated neighborhoods. A running zombie could easily sprint down the famous Hollywood Boulevard, spreading the infection from the Walk of Fame to the historic TCL Chinese Theater in no time. The sprawling urban landscape, usually a symbol of opportunity and dreams, would quickly turn into a nightmarish maze of danger and despair, making containment efforts nearly impossible. But why stop there? Let's venture to the windy city of Chicago. Imagine a horde of running zombies descending upon the bustling Magnificent Mile, a hub of shopping and entertainment. The rapid mobility of these undead creatures would enable them to quickly fan out across the city, infiltrating diverse neighborhoods from Wrigleyville to Hyde Park, accelerating the spread of infection and plunging the entire city into a state of pandemonium. In this terrifying scenario, the very essence of urban life would be threatened, forcing authorities and survivors to devise innovative strategies to stem the tide of the relentless running undead. The emergence of running zombies would undoubtedly force survivors to throw out the old playbook and innovate like never before. Imagine a group of survivors in a post-apocalyptic world brainstorming strategies in a makeshift fortress somewhere in the heartland of America. Gone are the days of leisurely strolls through abandoned streets. Now, they'd need to construct elaborate barricades, complete with escape routes and decoys, to outwit the agile undead. Imagine designing a complex network of ziplins and treetop idiots to navigate a safely above ground, turning the one simple act of survival into a thrilling game of 3D chess against an ever-evolving opponent. The need for faster means of transportation would also become paramount. Picture survivors retrofitting everything from motorcycles to armored school buses with improvised weapons and reinforced armor, transforming them into formidable zombie-killing machines. A high-speed chase through the countryside, with zombies in hot pursuit and survivors unleashing a barrage of Molotov cocktails and homemade explosives, would become a common sight, blending the adrenaline-pumping excitement of a blockbuster action movie with the gritty realism of a survival horror game. But perhaps the most intriguing adaptation would be the evolution of weaponry and defensive mechanisms. With the introduction of running zombies, survivors would need to upgrade their arsenal with high-powered firearms, explosive devices, and even futuristic gadgets to stand a fighting chance. Imagine a group of engineers and weapon enthusiasts collaborating to create a variety of innovative contraptions, from remote-controlled drones armed with tranquilizer darts to electromagnetic pulse (EMP) devices capable of temporarily incapacitating the undead. In this adrenaline-fueled arms race against time, creativity, and ingenuity would become the ultimate weapons in the battle for survival against the relentless running horde. But could humans survive this zombie apocalypse? In the face of the sudden emergence of running zombies in densely populated cities, the initial shock and panic would likely lead to widespread chaos and disorder. Given the rapid mobility of these undead creatures, containment and quarantine efforts would be severely compromised from the outset. Authorities would struggle to implement effective evacuation plans, and the sheer scale of the outbreak would quickly overwhelm emergency response teams. The lack of prior knowledge or established protocols for dealing with fast-moving zombies, despite our awareness of their existence from movies and popular culture, would result in a delayed and fragmented response, exacerbating the crisis. Furthermore, the dense urban environments of major cities would provide ample opportunities for running zombies to spread the infection rapidly among the population. Crowded streets, public transportation hubs, and popular gathering spots would become potential hotspots for transmission, making it nearly impossible for residents to avoid exposure. Despite our familiarity with the concept of zombies from fictional portrayals, the reality of facing a fast-moving undead threat in real life would present unique and unprecedented challenges that would test the limits of our preparedness and resilience. Additionally, the psychological toll of living under constant threat from running zombies would have profound effects on the mental health and well-being of survivors. The relentless pursuit and unpredictable nature of these agile undead creatures would create a pervasive atmosphere of fear, anxiety, and paranoia. Trust among strangers would erode as people become increasingly suspicious of one another, and social cohesion would break down as individuals and communities prioritize self-preservation.
preservation over collective survival. In this grim scenario, the struggle to maintain hope and humanity in the face of overwhelming adversity would become a central theme in the narrative of the fight against the running zombie apocalypse. In such a scenario, the odds would be heavily stacked against us. The rapid spread of infection in crowded urban environments, coupled with the breakdown of emergency response systems and the psychological toll on survivors, would create a complex and overwhelming crisis. Despite potential efforts to adapt survival strategies, upgrade weaponry, and foster community resilience, the sheer scale and speed of the running zombie outbreak would likely lead to high casualty rates and societal collapse. While it's challenging to predict with absolute certainty, based on the hypothetical scenario described, the chances of widespread human survival in the face of running zombies appearing out of nowhere in big cities would be slim. The grim reality of such a fast-moving and relentless threat would likely push humanity to its limits, posing existential questions about our ability to adapt, cooperate, and maintain hope in the most dire of circumstances. But if you want to know how we could survive, like this video, subscribe, and if I see that it is very supported, I will make a video explaining how we could survive. I'll wait for you in the comments.